Hey, welcome back. Looky here, it's a new generation of Lego friends. So we get a new incarnation of a Heart Lake City hairdresser. So this one's called the Heart Lake Hair Salon. I think that was it. I remember looking it up on the Lego site and when I looked up hairdresser, nothing came up. So it's a hair salon. How about that? So there are 401 pieces in this set. It's $70 here in Australia, $40 in the US. I'm so sure Australian dollar is not that weak against the US dollar, but anyway, what do we got inside? We've got the sticker sheet which we need to make There's some nice looking graphic art here so excited by the graphic art at the moment it's so good and our instruction book ah, there's ollie okay one two three four bags we've got everything we need let's get started so there are three characters included in this set the first one i'm gonna look at is ollie he's got pants that we've seen in one of the other sets but he's got a brand new top which i just love it's got little paisley prints all over it which is just Great, because he's hanging out with Paisley, but I love the crossbody bag. Look at this. This is like the detail on the bag over the top of the Paisley print, which seems kind of materially, but the bag itself is so crisp. Ah, it's so good. And this is actually the second Paisley print shirt that he's had in one of the other sets. It's got like the lightest lime green Paisley print that you can only just barely see. Anyway, so Paisley appears to be the... <laughs> the print that he prefers and yet there's also a character called Paisley so Paisley is also in this set she's got the long dragon on the ground jeans the new uh, leg mold that we've seen before we've also seen this top before with the pink and the leopard print on it perfect it was in the um in the tiny house set but what we do have that's different for Paisley is a new expression because she's going to get a haircut she's getting a new look so we have this new expression which is fantastic I love that it's vague enough let's get it on her so you can just have a look it looks well vague's the wrong word she doesn't look vague but she looks either shocked or surprised but you can't tell whether it's happy shock or surprised or sad shock or surprised it's 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 ambiguous better word than vague so that's that's some decent skill there in making her face friend and the third character is a brand new one a subsidiary character she's got the creepy ear feet so we'll put them down she's got the um we've we've seen these this bottom part before on olivia but her top is a completely new print got some scissors stuck into a waistband and a comb as well lovely colors going all the way around the back and her face print is brand new she's got some nice heavy eyeliner on there a lot of like really nice strong articulated features and her hair is the same shade of pink as her shoes she matchy matchy <laughs> it's also the same shade as paisley's shirt so i'm gonna try this hair on her on paisley you can you can it's gonna happen at some stage soon so let's put the normal face back on paisley she doesn't i mean she has nothing to be shocked or surprised at just yet Though who knows? I mean, who knows what could happen in the building of this set? It could go absolutely nuts. So it's not going to. I'm just going to follow the instructions. How wrong can I go? Let's find out. So there is a pink scooter included in here. And this is Ollie's scooter. I love that so much. It's an electric scooter. Like we're seeing everything's electric in Heart Lake City at the moment. And he's got a helmet for extra safety because safety is important. He doesn't get any hair, but that's fine because it's completely covering his head. So you wouldn't see that like there'd be a tiny bit of hair maybe tucking out the back so there we go ollie is all scooted up let's get started with the build and there are little tiny uh extra builds for this is not just a hair salon so we're seeing this pebbling cobblestoning with these new rounded lozenge style tile pieces looks so good and all of those exposed studs down there on the grassy section they're all gone now we've got a brick wall with some nice foliage growing up on it's like a mossy wall but this is where you park your scooter actually it probably needs no that would just be overkill to have like a plug-in for the like for the electric scooter but we can actually park his helmet on the flower so i think that's perfect <laughs> that's what nature's for okay that's really such a cute spot like a little this little scooter park. Let's get started on the park. No, a parking spot for a scooter, not a scooter park where you go to ride your scooter around. Now I'm confused. Let's get, yeah, let's just concentrate on the hair salon, Ellie. That would be really helpful. Focus. Okay, so we've got the entryway happening. Oh, a little sink already. I just... Every time I see it, I just love this new little half circle sink design. It's so useful and so low profile. It's so good. And I suppose these are going to be like shampoos and conditioners, hair, what's the word? 
condiments? No, you don't put condiments in your hair. Hair products. Products, that's the word I was looking for. Do not put condiments in your hair. <laughs> this is great. So this shelf has got, are they pictures of Nadia, like with the pink hair being a performer or something? Or are they a clue for a new pop star theme? I don't know. But this side's a mirror, so that's slightly less interesting, but very useful for a hair salon. The other side, though, has got some interesting potential clues, maybe for future stuff, or maybe just random, yeah, random, Im random, oh, random imagery, but I can never trust Lego just to do random imagery. They've got, always got a plan. This nice big door is new in this color, in the dark pink color. I'm loving this open sign, even though it's exactly the same style as we're seeing on just about everything, but it, I, li I like the consistency. It's nice, um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice graphic. <laughs> I'm so excited by the graphics, for the graphic art. It's the little details that make a whole world of difference with these sort of sets. Oh, with all sets, with everything, in every, actually everything in the world, everything. It's the little details that make the difference. Though sometimes you don't want to get stuck up in the details because then you can't see the big picture. Oh, I'm now so confused. Okay, these windows, these lime green, yellowish green windows, they're brand new in that color. And these are the pieces that we have left over at the end of the bag, first bag. So we're up to the second bag, which thankfully has some more of these windows that I almost forgot to mention. We got a nice amount of them in this set. So yeah, brand new color, yellow, brand new color for these windows, yellowish green. So this here looks like another little naturey bit. No, 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 it's not an extra bit. It's the side. We're building off the side. Yeah, this is going to be adding to the actual floor plan of, yeah, nice, of the hair salon. And the next bit is, well, we've got a sticker to make a mat, a hair salon themed mat with scissors on it. But that's actually designed to hold together those two seams in the floor. Very smart. Nice, good, strong structural integrity down there. Now, this looks like a mirror image of what we just did on the other side. Almost, not quite a mirror image, but the same idea. Got a whole heap of cobblestoning happening. And yeah, this is going to attach over here. It's just got a little bit more. Yeah, it's a little bit more outside section. Cute. And a matching mat to the other side to hold those two base plate things together. They're not base plates, but the two plates on the base. Okay, got some jumper studs happening. We've got some turny bits happening. So we're going to be putting things on those soon. And now working up in the roof. The roof is actually really interesting. We have got all these smooth bits over here. And I mean, it's... Um, Lego Friends does facades basically. You have the front and then the back's open so it's a doll's, house, a, doll, a doll's house style so that you can actually access the inside and I really like that about Lego Friends theme. But the roofing is also becoming more and more interesting and in this case we're getting this really quite detailed bit of foliage on the top with all of those stick through leafy bits to hold in the pink bits so they're not going to just fly off when you pick it up. And that's on the inside or just on the upstairs of the roof. It's like a little sunroof section with, yeah, with plants growing in there. Anyway, so this is, we're up to bag number three. This is the bag that Nadia came out of. I forgot to mention, I think, that her name is Nadia, but her name's Nadia. She needs her scissors for going chop chop because she needs to give Paisley that expression, which I'm so excited to find out what causes the expression. We'll <laughs> see what happens. Will it be a disaster? Will it be a fabulous, shocked, happy surprise? I don't know. We're not going to know until we decide. So this is a nice big hair salon-y seat thing. Nice big cushiony arm bits. I love the, the sticker on it to create the cushiony effect. Nice and not straight. So let's fix that up. Yeah, a nice simple pattern, but it's a modern design. Looks really good. And we got a clip on the top to attach a... Oh, like a hairdryer thing. Do people even still use these? They used to use these in the 50s and the 60s to go over your head to dry it off fast. I don't know that we see these so much in hair salons these days. But there we go. We'll fit Paisley under here. She can wait patiently for her hairstyle extravaganza later. We've got building still to do first. So we've got another chair here. Same patterning. Nice consistency on the cushion. Different style of chair though because this is designed to go on the other side for the hair washing basin. And we're going to let Paisley give this a little try out. Well, that looks uncomfortable. I'm sure there's another way to do this. I think it's, I'll have a look on the box. Pretty sure I, there's a picture of Paisley sitting at that on the box. So I'll have a look when I've finished. Okay, got a lovely orangey yellow awning over the front door. And up here we've got lights, like the see-through yellowy bits are like light. Got some hooks to go on. I'm so excited to find out what's happening in the roofing because it's really, really interesting. 
big curved sections here alternating pink and white and then we get some see-through glass bricks to create like a window it is it's like a sun roof or a whole sunroom underneath it is a sunroom's hair salon i love that and these oh my gosh get excited these curved see-through panels they have not been seen since the paradisa line like the theme paradisa in 1992 so and they make a beautiful big sunroof on the top too so you sit under that you get baked by the sun if you're <laughs> if you're living here in Australia, you would burn. But this would be very nice for countries that doesn't have a sun that tries to skewer you with its rays. All right, so we've got the beautiful sunroof. This is the snippy snippy scissors, the big sign for the top of the shop. Ha, that rhymed. So these go on here. Oh, and the little studs between them to keep them at just the right angle open. So smart. Okay, and speaking of angles, it goes up on this angled thing and then it gets flipped forward. Looks fantastic. It's very retro, I love it. Okay, all right, so this is what we have so far. We've actually got the entire structure done, but we've got a yeah, complete bag left still to add to this. So, detail city, let's do this. So we've got red things, perfect. Red, red thing. <laughs> oh, okay, so we've got a little turny, turny key thing on the front and a gumball compartment at the top. It's a gumball machine. That's really cute. So that goes off here on the side. Not what I expect to see at a hair salon, but I'm not complaining because I think it's very cute. This is a hanging basket, a hanging plant. Very, very nice. I had not seen this clippy thing, this right angled black clip before it's going to be really useful for hanging things off stuff obviously <laughs> that's what it's designed to do but look at that so that's we've got a hanging basket off one side it really is a very yeah, nature as much nature has been popped in here as possible and on the other side we've got the sign with the beautiful black curly q sign design that we've seen whoa we haven't seen this in black since the elves theme i don't think got a few white ones but yeah, this one's, well, <laughs> broken the sunroof. It's okay, I fixed it because it's Lego. Oh, kind of. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, nice. I love that sign. All right. I, I'm just loving the details, but there are still more to go. So let's see what... It's another plant that makes me very happy. It's a little roundy plant with two different colors. Ooh, yep. Two different colored foliage on it. I really like the sand green or the sage green pot. So that goes off on the side. Very fun. This is fun. This is okay. So what do we got now? We got a, this is not a plant. Now we get some of the interesting styles that Paisley is going to be trying out. So we've got this hair piece, which is basically just her hair pulled up into a ponytail, but with bangs. So maybe that's what she's going to have cut. And if she wants something more extreme, she can go with a black flicky out bob, which is very cute. And that goes over here. Yeah. On those jumper studs there, there's a broom to sweep up all the hair clippings, keep everything nice and tidy. And this little table here's got the cash register with a hundred dollars because hair treatments are not cheap, <laughs> especially if you're getting a drastic style and color and everything going on. Another hair condiment, hair product, hair product down here in the corner tucked down here but there's actually room to put the hair stuff up in front of the mirror too there's all these holes so we can put things on there some clips here to hold a sign some advertising look at these different hair choices you got one for pinky uppy style two for blondie shorty style or three for turquoise bob style and there's also yeah another clip here which i'm going to put her spare scissors on nice and of course there's a brush there you can pop the brush lots of places in this build actually now what on earth is this this is such a really cute thing to have happening at the end of the build it's like a little nature strip section that you can pop out yeah out the front of the shop with, oh, it's so pretty. So we've got more of the cobblestoning happening here on top of the grassy bits. Some more nice little bits of flowers. There's a pink park bench here that you can sit on, but we're not finishing the park bench yet because we've got this really nice oldie worldy style street lamp, though it's also quite modern because the lights themselves, like the yellow bits are square instead of round. The squareness just makes them look more modern. Doesn't that look so great? So. Fantastic looking light. Park bench, this just clips in on the back and you can angle that however you want to have it so that you can have the mini dolls sit on that seat and they can just hang out there while they're waiting or making their hair choices, the big changes in their lives. 
<laughs> and this is a sign for the front of the shop. So we've got $5 each or three for the price of two. Some of those fabulous hair condiments. Yes, and now I'm deliberately saying it. And because I never remember the other word. Why can I not remember the other word? Uh, there's in the open sign from 8 a.m. in the morning till 19 o'clock in the evening. And I love the fact that there's just a little tiny hint to the hearts that we're still seeing in the cord. And I feel as though I've put this in upside down, but I... I, I, I think it's supposed to be the other way because you kind of just swap it around depending upon which sign you want facing to the front having the smooth bit on the bottom. But anyway, I'll leave it like that for now because it looks wrong. <laughs> Never mind. We'll turn it back to be the open sign soon, but I want to play with Paisley's hair. So let's have a look. Let's see what is causing this new face expression. Is it happiness? Is it horror? Let's find out. And also Ollie's going to get in on this too. So we've got, that's, mm, that is very extreme, that dark black hair with her skin color, with her very pale skin color. Ollie, I think, also does a little flipped up bob quite nicely, but it's not really the right color for his skin tone either. But look at that. This is just, this is what it's supposed to be. Hair's up out of her face, but let's try the pink hair too. Because it matches her shirt. It's a lot of pink though. That is a lot of pink. But can you have too much pink? I don't know. Uh, yeah, this hair piece looks really good on the hairdresser. Really nice, actually. Goes very nicely with her dark features. And Ollie, you can rock some pink hair, whatever you want. This is so cute. <laughs> I don't know. I can't figure out whether Paisley is happy or not. I think that's up to your interpretation. But it is nice for her not to be hiding away behind her hair. And this is how you're supposed to put the chair down. I looked on the box. So there we go. You pop it underneath the sink so that you can actually get her lying down flat. Let's put her back over here. Put the brush in front of the mirror. Get Ollie in with his helpful recommendations and therefore moral support. You could, yep, yeah, let's put this one out here. You can be offering this hair <laughs> two up for Paisley. There, yeah, give it a go. You never know till you try. But hopefully then the hairdresser comes in with the voice of reason and the accidental kick <laughs> of knocking that one out of the way because that one's just not really going to go with Paisley's skin tone. All right, this is such a super fun set. Not only does it look like a great little display piece and it's going to look really good in your Lego city, but I mean, it's got so many play opportunities in it. Lots of scenes that you can set up and the new expression for Paisley is just absolutely gone. I'm going to be using that everywhere that I possibly can. I mean, is she surprised? Is she anxious? Is she worried? I just don't know. It works for so many situations. Okay. All right. Let me know in the comments what you think of the set. As per usual, I'm so interested to hear what you think. And I'll be back with another video really soon. So check back in. And I'll see you then. Okay. <laughs> Bye.